Here's how to highlight cells based on due dates of invoices. We have a list here of invoices with due dates, and you want to highlight the rows and colors as the invoices become due. To do this, you need a reference for the current date. You can use the today function in this cell, and each time you open the file or update formulas, the date will update to whatever day it currently is. Using today will give you a spreadsheet that will automatically update, but for the sake of our example, I'm going to hard code a date to make it easier to follow. Next to the due date column, we'll create a new column and call it days past due. To populate this column, simply type equals and then reference the cell with today's date. Press F4 to lock in the cell reference so that we can pull this formula down and always reference today's date. Type a minus and then reference the due date for the current row. Because we want this row to change, we don't need to lock in cell references. Press enter and for this first row, we got a 17, which means that this invoice is 17 days past due. If you pull the formula down, you can see a negative number, which means that an invoice isn't due yet. With this column in place, we can now use conditional formatting to color the row based on the days past due column. Select the first row and then click on conditional formatting on the home tab of the ribbon. Click new rule and then select this last option to use a formula. In this box, we need to type a formula that will return a true or a false. Let's say we want to color this row if an invoice is over 10 days past due. The formula to return a true would be equals D4 is greater than 10. Note that we always want Excel to look in column D for the past due reference. So we need to lock in the column D portion in our formula. Otherwise, only one column would be highlighted. Manually type a dollar sign in front of the D or press F4 until you get dollar sign D4. Click the format button and then choose the formatting you want to have if the invoice is over 10 days past due. We'll just choose a red fill and then click OK. And now you can see this first row is highlighted red because the days past due is over 10. Let's say we want to color the row yellow if the invoice is at the due date or through 10 days past due. Click conditional formatting again and then manage rules. Select the rule we just created and then click duplicate rule. Click on the second rule and click edit rule. Change the formula to equals dollar sign D4 is greater than or equal to zero and then change the fill to yellow. Click OK and you'll notice that this didn't do anything to our first row. The reason is that Excel evaluates conditional formatting rules and stops when a condition is met. In our example, the first rule listed is if the invoice is 10 days past due. Because that condition is met, Excel stops evaluating conditional formatting and colors the row red. If you wanted to change the order, you can click these arrow buttons to make that change. Now with these cells colored, we'll click on the Format Painter to copy the formatting. Select the remaining rows of your data, and now all the rows are colored based on those rules that we set up. As you can see, as I change this date cell here, the rows will change colors. Subscribe to my channel so you can get better with spreadsheets.